Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. New day, new project. First project we're showing on this channel. Yay, new channel. Woo! Don't know if anybody will actually watch this, but here we go. <laughs> I have this wonderful sphere mold from the December 2021 Mr. Nola's Glitters Wanderlust box, which celebrated all things New Year's Eve, especially pertaining to New York. So this is supposed to represent the disco ball that drops in Times Square at midnight on New Year's Eve. So we are going to do a deep cast pour. I'm gonna keep it really simple. I would like this project to go smoothly and be relatively short video just to set the tone. So I have here some KS resin. This is their liquid cast epoxy resin. You can pour it up to two inches thick, which is just about exactly how tall our mold is. This takes eight ounces. So four ounces of the hardener, four ounces of the resin mixed together. You have a 45 plus minute working time. We certainly won't need that. I'm gonna mix it up, I'm gonna pour it in. And the only thing I'm gonna do to it is add a tiny bit of Hold My Hand, which is a very fine, very holographic silver glitter from your glitter dealer the place to get your glitter fix. I will link to everything below. I have not tried this casting resin before. I've had it for a little while. I got it for a different project and ended up using something else. So now I wanna try this one. Hopefully this will go really well. It doesn't feel particularly thin. The other deep casting resin I have is, is quite thin and that's what releases the bubbles, but we'll see how this works. Because it has such a long working time, I think I'm gonna mix it up and then let it sit for about 15 minutes. Hopefully that will release any bubbles that are whipped in there as I'm mixing it up. And I will mix in just, just the tiniest amount of this. I just want a tiny bit of glitter in there so that when we put the, the unmolded sphere onto the lit display stand, it'll sparkle. I'm now gonna gear up, sit back and enjoy the show. So one thing I absolutely love already from the beginning about the KS Resin Liquid Cast Epoxy is that it's not even 24 hours later from when I poured this and it's hard, it's solid. We can demold it right now. There's none of this waiting three days thing. I love that. And it really didn't seem to have any bubble issues, but we'll see better when I get this out of here. If, if I get it out of here. <laughs> Without busting my knuckles. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at how pretty. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Okay. 